What's up YouTube? There's been quite a bit going on around this iOS 10.11 jailbreak. Yes, Project Zero did drop a jailbreak. It is uh, in its basic form, but with some reworking, it could be made into a usable tool. Uh, noted there is no untether and still kind of a lack of injecting the jailbreak onto the device as you would be required to use maybe Cydia Impact or if it was uh, packaged into an IPA file uh, or there will have to be something else added. But uh, Lucas Tedesco has taken up the challenge and he says that uh, he will try to release a jailbreak for uh, iOS 10.11 all the way up to the latest device also sounds like 32-bit devices will be available in this how do you guys get to ios 10.11 while well, apple has pushed ios 10.2 i'm on 10.2.1 beta uh, so i'm going to downgrade this device back to 10.11 this will only work if apple is signing 10.11 and unfortunately and i know this is going to suck for a lot of you uh basically if Apple decides to shut 10.11 off and then the jailbreak comes out if you're on 10.2 you will not be able to go backwards so it is if you see this video it's probably good to do this now uh, or as soon as possible so that you can catch that small window and be able to jailbreak on 10.11 the first thing we're going to need to do I have an iPhone 7 plus here that I'm going to downgrade as an example I'm going to use ispw.me to download my firmware. I'm going to head over to phone here. Now I've identified my iPhone 7 as the iPhone 7 Plus GSM. If you're unsure which device you have, you can follow the instructions in the identify my iOS device. It's pretty easy. And then you will want to choose your iOS version. So currently the one we're looking for is this 14B 150. There are reports that 14B100 also worked too. It was the same kernel, so the same exploits were in that kernel version. But it would be good to be on the latest build because this uh, corrected some issues with restoring. So download that file, which it will appear like here. Plug in your iOS device. Your device is basically ready. You'll want to go to the backup now and transfer all your purchases and back up your device. This is uh, pretty important. I would make sure that you do this. Now, before we begin, when we restore this phone, you're not going to be able to use this backup. So you can use other programs um, to access the data in the backup and retrieve text messages and pictures and everything. But before you begin, you should really back up, move all your pictures over from your phone, everything else because this will completely wipe your phone there is no way to use a backup from a new version on an older version it's something apple has done to try and prevent people from going backwards so i'm actually okay with not needing the backup but i just wanted to explain that with you guys to begin you're going to want to hold the option key and click the restore button here. You have to hold the option key before you click restore or it's not gonna prompt you with this message here. With this is the finder window that you can locate that firmware. If you click it without holding anything, you're gonna get this message. And if you see this message, you've done something wrong. On Windows, you would use the shift key. So instead of the option key on your keyboard, you'll use the shift key. So we can wake the phone back up here, head to downloads and go open. It's going to ask if you want to wipe the phone and restore, so we're going to say yes. Now this process can take about 10 minutes, so uh, just leave the device, wait until it completely reboots, and then you'll be back at the startup welcome screen here. So my device is now rebooting, that's a good sign. Usually you just wait here for the waiting for iPhone. And once you get to the part where you see the Apple uh, ID or the iTunes icon come up and then it flips over to an Apple and you'll see the loading bar, you know that your downgrade is good. 
So this is now the process. It'll take about 10 minutes. All right, guys, I won't make you wait through the whole thing because all we'll really see is a welcome back to iOS 10.11. I will pause the video really quickly. I'll show you guys that it did successfully downgrade. All right, so after about 10 minutes, we are back here and the device is rebooting and coming up to the welcome screen. I'm just waiting for it to recognize in iTunes here. So we'll hit continue, start. And you can see here, I'm now back on iOS 10.11. Uh, with the serial numbers being the exact same on the device. So there we go. I've downgraded. Now, like I was saying before, make sure you don't upgrade. Uh, stay where you're at, even if it does take until after Christmas. I mean, there's no set time now. Just like we've seen with the iOS 9.1 jailbreak, this may come out after Apple has stopped signing, which means you won't be able to get back to iOS 10.11. But uh, thank you to the jailbreak team who does eventually release the exploits and make it uh, for us to use. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends so they can benefit from the jailbreak as well. And we'll see you guys again next time. Cheers.